down Padre baseball. Padre baseball. And we thought we had a, they had a chance here for a sweep, Lee, and it didn't really work out. That's the headline, and that's what we're going to talk about. This general manager in the past, A.J. Preller, has really been bold. This general manager has built some winning teams. He's built some disappointing teams. He's spent any volumes of money. He's made unbelievable trades at all hours in the days and nights. By the way, read my one man's opinion column on my website today because I talk about Preller. It's time for the Padres to be bold. They got injury issues. They lose you, Darvish. They lose Joe Musgrove. Big issue. Uh, Darvish has a groin injury, probably going to be gone 15 days. Musgrove, reoccurrence of the tricep elbow area. They're not saying it. I think Joe Musgrove has a worsening bone spur situation in the elbow, and that's not good news. They're insinuating four weeks minimum, if not longer, and now suddenly the Padres are wafer thin in the starting rotation. Yeah, you can say Randy Vasquez. Yeah, you could say maybe Adrian Morion and Johnny Brito in a combo start. Yeah, maybe there's somebody they're going to bring up from AAA, but there's nobody really there. They're recalling Adam Mazur, who's got an ERA of 7.1 and 1 1 at El Paso, and you're going to give him the ball. Rob Snelling has kind of stalled the AA San Antonio. He's not ready. So they got an issue. Solve the issue. What's the area code for Mexico City? <laughs> Good question. Call Trevor Bauer. Yeah. Period, exclamation point, end mm -hmm. of conversation. Lots of reasons why they should call Trevor Bauer. Oh, geez, here come, look, look what's going on. <laughs> Padre fans are piling in on fans for him already. Trevor Bauer, 5-0, 1.50 ERA, Mexico City Diablos Rojos. Last year, he was exiled. He pitched Yokohama Bay Stars, Japan, 10 and 3, best pitcher in the league. Has he learned something about the road he walked down that got himself in a lot of trouble? I think he has. He has stayed off social media in terms of any controversial content. He has just been relegated to being buried outside the circle of Major League Baseball and once back in and is willing to take a veteran's minimum contract to prove himself, to regain his reputation as a pitcher, to regain to a degree his reputation as a person. I think the Padres need to look at this. How do you do this? You give him the veteran's minimum because he is a vested veteran. I think his career record is like 83 and 50. It's probably 2.5 mil. You give him bonus incentives based on the number of quality starts he has going forward the rest of the year. You know, maybe maybe the total value of the contract of the guy pitches lights out might be five mil. That's not a bad investment. You insert a clause in there that you will stay off social media for the next four months. Ha. You know, you're investing in him to help salvage your pennant hopes. He's investing in you with the opportunity to give me the ball every fifth day, get the hell out of the way, and let me do what I do. It could be win-win for both. I don't think it's lose-lose because the guy can still pitch. John Q. Fan, you please tell me how you respond to John Q. Fan about you're giving this guy, you want this guy to represent your crest at Petco Park based on what he's done three different occasions, quote, sexual misconduct, rough sex with women, never charged. Lost a ton of money by the decisions he made when the commissioner's office investigated and took him out of baseball for what turned out to be a 190-game suspension over a year and a half. They need a frontline starter. We don't know whether Musgrove is going to be Musgrove going forward. You got the Darvish situation. Between those guys now, they've been on the disabled list to combine four times, and John, it's only the first week of June. I would look really seriously at Trevor Bauer because anytime you make a deal to get a pitcher from somewhere else, he's got to be in ready to pitch mode. Well, this guy's pitching every five or six days in Mexico City. He is in ready pitch mode. You know, if you, you bring up somebody from minor leagues, is he going to be able to pitch at this level? Um, if you think there's any street free agents out there, there are hardly any. Even if you've found one, it would take a month to ramp him up to get him ready to pitch max effort in a rotation. Upside, Bauer the pitcher. Downside, yeah, Bauer the person. If I'm a Jay Preller, 
I tell my fans, this is what he signed. This is what he agreed to. If he steps over the line, he forfeits all of his money. It's probably the end of his career. And I tell my fans, we want to win in October. He gives us the best chance to get to October, maybe postseason. And I tell my fans, I believe second chances. And by the way, second chance, mm -hmm. Trevor Bauer equals last chance, Trevor Bauer. If I were king, that's what I would do. And what does my co-host John Riley have to say? Hmm. Okay, there's a lot there. I think you got a lot of it right, but there's a couple of things I want to ask you about. First of all, the Padres definitely have a pitching problem. I mean, there's no doubt about that. I mean, I, I don't know if we can count on Musgrove. What the Darvish thing is a hamstring. Maybe he comes back in a week or two. But yeah, they need pitching. And um, and you know, when I'm interested in seeing the kid coming up. He's pitching on Tuesday. You know, Mazer, that'll be good. Now, from a baseball perspective, yeah, get Bauer sounds terrific. You get a, a, a frontline guy, a guy you can count on. He's got track record. Does you everything you need as a pitcher. But and and the whole point about second chances and the PR spin with the Padres, they could make that work if they wanted to. They're sticking their neck out a little bit for this guy. They could get burned, but the second chance thing might work. The part that I doubt is. There's so many good vibes in the Padre clubhouse right now, especially with a rise. He's brought a lot. Profar is having a great year. He's got the beaming smile. Everyone's having a good time. Would Trevor Bauer disrupt the chemistry, especially given that the woman he got you know, involved with and turned into the big story is also linked to Tatis, supposedly, allegedly. So can you see that maybe the 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 stew getting cooked the wrong way in the clubhouse? No, because he's an outsider with tin cans attached to his tail. He's got a lot of baggage that he brings into that clubhouse. He will be there. He will be a pitcher. He will be silent. And there will be people who will tell him, this is the lane you're in. You're not going over any guardrail going forward because it'll be the end of your career. Second chance, hyphen, last chance. And he's a proven commodity. You're not going to find that on the waiver wire unless A.J. Preller is going to start trading more prospects for somebody else's pitcher. This is a one-time investment for four months, and they they have a lot to gain by it. He's got even more to gain by it by mm -hmm. staying between the guardrails. Yay, nay? Yeah, well, he does have a lot to gain, but his personality, we know that he likes to kind of stir it up. We know that he loves the attention of social media. And if Preller or someone said, hey, no posting on Twitter anymore, there's A, I don't think he could agree to that. And frankly, I think that's the wrong message that the Padres should be sending this guy. Yeah, if you get in trouble with the law, then, or if you get in trouble with women, it's like legitimate assault. Yeah, that's a problem. But if you're just kind of having fun on social media and you're talking about whatever he talks about that to me that's fine to me that adds excitement and interest to the team but i still question whether or not this is going to work because remember when tatis hit the home run off him and tatis was rounding the bases covering one eye and all that <laughs> smack going on and i know that was all done in fun but i do wonder if deep down they all know each other all these guys and i wonder if they just think that you know that Trevor Bauer is just kind of a jerk, you know, maybe he is, and that would disrupt the chemistry. Except he's a jerk who's 83 and 50 as a starter. And if you look <laughs> at major league rosters, there are a bunch of jerks at a lot of different clubs. Yeah. A uh, quick side note here, Padres, Angels, you know, this has the history. This could have been a really great rivalry over many years because Orange County is one stop north of us on the train. But it hasn't really become the robbery because they hardly ever play. In interleague plays, the first time the Ponderers have played at Angel Stadium in eons. Mm. Uh, right time for them to play. Uh, Padres, you know, play a team that is seven and twenty-one at home. Angels have the worst record at home in Major League Baseball. Worse than the Padres. <laughs> Thirty-two and thirty, the Padres are. Here's an interesting sidebar story. The big three, the Padres, the highest paid group collecting $79 million, Tatis, Machado, and Xander, are hitting a combined 236. 236 from the big three. Dodgers' big three, Mookie, Freddie, Shohei, hitting a combined 331. Yankees' big three, Judge, Soto, Stanton, hitting 301. And the Phillies, best record in baseball, their big three, Bryce Harper, Turner, Real Muto. Combined 289. Padres, 236 batting average from the big three. Jeez. 
Yeah, that, that ain't cutting it, you know. And even Fernando, he's he's sitting below two fifty, and then Machado as well, like around two thirty or something. And it was was uh, um, uh, Bogarts wasn't he like right around the Mendoza line two fourteen. 214. So yeah, that's a disgrace. Thank God for a rise in Profar and Cronenworth kind of carrying the load. Just amazing. And then Manny pulls out of his out of his vest, his favorite card. Oh, yeah. We'll see at the end of the season. Yeah. The back of the baseball card statement. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to hear that. Yeah, that doesn't work. So that's that's where we are with Padre Baseball. Fans forum chat box is open. There are no excuses accepted. Padre fan, do you agree with me? They need to be bold. Make the phone call to Mexico City. What is the area code? Please, I'll forward it on to AJ Preller. Would you accept Trevor Bauer here? Or is that a reach too far across the border because of his past track record beyond his 80 and 50? 